Hey everyone, it's Jack again with Toy Dojo, and today we're taking a look at the Playmates Toys line of Voltron figures. Now these are the combiner figures for Voltron. Um, now this is based off of the Netflix uh, Voltron uh, series that's out right now. I never watched Voltron as a kid, and I haven't seen the new series either. But I do want to check it out just to see what it's about. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the figures today, and uh, give you guys a chance to do watch it and do collect these figures. Uh, let's see what they look like. So you see all five of them here in front of us. Now I believe this one isn't available in stores yet. But I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can order all these guys from. And uh, have them in your collection. So let's get started. Uh, first here we got the green lion, red lion, black lion, yellow lion, and blue lion. And they're all going to combine to form Voltron. So like I said, I was never familiar with the, uh, with the cartoon itself. So I'm just going to go based off of... Um, you know what the box is saying things like that so but in each box they come in their own individual box and I'll just pull off this one for example this is just a this one for the yellow lion and it's like a blister pack box like this it shows everything like that it says form 16 inch Voltron when all five lines are combined so that's cool he should be a tall figure and then coming to the back here you're gonna see the yellow lion it says include speeder uh, with pilot hunk so I guess his name is hunk right there uh, for you that know this, you're like, duh, I know that, but I don't know that. So that's Hunk right there. So that's the, the basic box for the smaller lions. Now for the black lion, he comes with a larger box. And his box, I'll pull that in real quick. Right here. And I'm just going to kind of go around it because I have all the lions there and they're taking up my space. So you see him right there. Again, shows Voltron again. Has a lot of sayings, so it says you can unlock 50 plus phrases and sound effects. Now, I think a lot of that is when you combine them, you get more. Uh, when he's by himself, you get some, and then when you combine them, you get a lot more. So there's the box right there. And let's see, it says Voltron of the Universe. Long ago, a mighty Warbird warrior Voltron was created to protect the galaxy from evil. Now, five young heroes must match the power of, Vol of the Voltron Alliance to defeat the Galra Empire and restore peace. And the, let's see, that guy's name is Shiro, and he is the leader. Obviously, the Black Lion is the leader. That much I knew. He's leader of the group, and I know that because he's the core combined part of that deal. So, that's really neat. And then the Red Lion, his uh, speeder guy, his name is Keith. The pilot is named Keith. And the green one, his is Pidge. So, we got Pidge, Keith, I think I said his name was Shiro, right? Hunk and then Lance as far as the little speed guys. So inside each of the boxes you're going to get their own instruction play, um, sheet here. It's one sided. But it's going to show you the basic way to transform them what they come with. When I say transform them I mean transform them into their robot mode or pff, combined modes. I'm thinking about Transformers again. I did that when I did the Dragon Ball one. And then it comes with this little uh, product placement uh, insert as well into the box. So if we open that up, it just shows you, I think that's all, yeah. It shows you what, what else you can buy. You can buy the large sword, you can buy the mask, these other swords here. It shows what it looks like when they're all combined. On the back it shows more figures that you can get. Uh, these, I don't know if they're transformable or not as far as combinable. So there's that. And this is a larger one that's non, um, you can't split it up. So that's cool. It comes in all the all the boxes there, so you can take a look at that. All right, so let's go. I guess one by one. So we're gonna take a look at the green lion first. And for the most part, like the the okay, so these two because these are gonna be the arms. Their sculpts are the same for the most part, but the head sculpts themselves, and you can see that when they were sitting there, they all have different head sculpts. So like the faces are different from each lion. Like these two, you can see that they're different. Let me get that. There we go. So you can see they have a different sculpt. So they could have went and did just a generic repaint of everything, but they didn't. A lot of it's the same kind of sculpt, if you will. Um, there's a little bit of differences up here on top. But the faces are different, so that's really cool. So let's take a look at the green lion. He comes with this piece right here. And that's going to be a little uh, projectile. And so you push this button here. And it fires pretty well. I don't know how far that fires away. Let me see. My hand is right off screen. Yeah, I hit my hand there. So that's pretty good little distance this gives you. So it comes with that. 
It comes with this shield right here as well. And then it also comes with this part of the sword here, which why they broke it up into two separate pieces, I don't know. I don't know if it's because they wanted to make you feel like, hey, you're combining the sword itself or what it was, but uh, this has come separate. Let's put the green line here. So you can take this piece here, you can plug it right under the back right there, and this does rotate. Uh, take it, just plug that in right into there, and then there you go. There's that right there. The shield itself, you can take that and you can plug it into that little hole right there. And that way you can get his shield sitting on his back. Let me get that right there. And that's really neat. That looks cool. So pulling it off, just kind of going our over articulation of him. His head does turn side to side and it's nice ratchety joint. This is a spring loaded jaw here. And these are on a nice ratchet as well. Down here, that's a nice ratchet as well. Down on the paws, those are a nice ratchet as well. He does have some articulation in the waist and it goes side to side. A lot of that is due for his combined mode. And then his tail, it will go in because when you have to combine them, you have to push the tail in all the way. But the tail is made out of a soft rubber plastic. The rest of this is all hard plastic, everything else, with the exception of the feet. The feet themselves are more that soft rubber plastic like the tail is. So you get a good strong figure and then some rubbery parts here. Now why they went with rubber here on the feet, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe they saw something that could possibly break, I don't know. But there's the green line right there. And he comes with a little speeder guy like I said and that's here. You can hide him away right in here. You just open this up like this and he's hiding away right inside there. So you take that out. And he's a nice color. He's green, blue. Now the one thing is, and I know it's because it's probably it's a smaller piece. Like they could have maybe put some more detail paint on that pilot there, because all it is just all this back piece is just a black painted, uh, soft rubbery plastic. So they could have maybe painted that better. But again, it's a smaller figure, um, so I don't know how hard that would have been to do. Maybe it would have been really difficult. You know, there's my pointer finger. So he's about the size of my pointer finger at the tip right there. Just kind of show his size. He's pretty small. But either way, you can get that. And you can load him away back inside there. And he can stay inside there during your whole setting up process to get him to his arm mode. So we'll get them into their arm mode here in a minute. I'm just going to show everybody else off. So instead of doing all videos for each one for each lion, we're going to go ahead and just combine them all into one video here. Red lion. All right. So again, you're gonna get the same articulation, just as the other one did, with the same nice clickety ratchets. Now for some reason the front paws have a lot of nice, it's a hard ratchet there, and the back ones are more of a soft ratchet. So I don't know if it's because maybe all of the weight, if you wanna put them down, will be on this. And I think also too, well, we'll see, it's gonna be for them on the front there, because they're gonna have support of the, of the excuse me, of the leg when he stands up, so. Uh, but again, same articulation on this guy here. And then the same kind of tail right here. And the mouth as well is also on a spring because that's where the sword is going to be held when he's in his combined form there. And then he also has his little speed racer who's down here on the bottom. Again, same thing. It's the same kind of speed racer, just painted up differently. And um, again, the back is just all black right there. Down on the bottom of them, these are going to be their connector ports right here for their arm mode. That'll pop out right there, and that'll connect him for his arm. He comes with this one, this little shooter here, and that can sit onto his back like this. And that shoots out just like that. Same thing. So that's really cool. I like this one. This is really neat because this to me, again, I didn't watch the cartoon, but this looks like you can stab somebody and, well, I shoot him. So you come up to him. Stab them and then shoot them at the same time. That would be really hurtful, or really would re hurt really really bad. I'm getting my words all lost here. So there he is, and he comes with the other part of the sword right here. That's a nice transparent, translucent plastic there. And so there's that. Now these do combine just like this. You take this. There's a little nub right here, and there's a nub up here on top, and you got this hole right here. And that hole right there where these are going to fit into. Just take that, 
put it over the top of this, just like this. Same thing over here. And once you get all that lined up, you're going to have the legendary sword for Voltron. So there that is. Now this one here, I don't know if it's just the one that I have here or not, but this is all scratched up as far as this plastic here, so that may be an issue. But again, it's just plastic, so it's going to be scratched up. They're kids toys. I mean, they're supposed to be, you know, durable and rough, so there's that. All right. Going on to the blue lion, who is going to be one of the legs. He's going to be the let's see right leg. Um, this one's nice too. I like blue's my favorite color, so I really like this one. This one's cool. Uh, again, soft rubbery tail right here. Same articulation, and then up here again as well. You got that articulation. Now, I was thinking because this is going to be part of the foot, maybe that's why they have the clickety ratchets on them. Because that would be part of the foot. Maybe they want to make that stronger than these back ones. Well, no, the back ones here also have articulate or strong ratchets. Hmm. Thought it didn't. Like this one doesn't. This one's just real soft. So I don't know. I don't know if it was meant that way on purpose or what. But uh, yeah, that's the way that is. And again, he's got a speed racer right here at the bottom. Take that out. And these are all soft, rubbery plastic. All of them. With the exception of the Black Lion, his little speed racer here is also uh, small like this, but it's a hard plastic. It's not this rubbery plastic here. We'll look at that whenever I pop it out of him there. So there's this right there. Let me plug him back in. And he comes with this accessory right here that's going to plug in right here. So it's going to plug into this spot right here. Just take that over like that on both sides. And there you go, snaps into place. And you shoot him out through here. Again, that's pretty, it's not like a super, super strong one, but it's decent enough to where it shoots with a pretty good amount of force. And mind you, on the box it says, do not point into the face, don't shoot at animals, don't shoot at people. I mean, because you can still hurt somebody if you shoot this at them along. Especially if you shoot them in the eye, that would hurt really bad. And again, spring loaded on the mouth. So really cool. I like these. I like lions, so to me these are cool. And then we'll take a look at the yellow lion. Now obviously this is more like a lion because he's yellow, but um, they're all lions. And I like this face. I like that snout right there on that one. That one looks really neat there. Uh, kind of reminds me of the front end of a car for some reason. But again, soft tail. Ratchets. Now this ratchet doesn't sound as strong as, let's say, this one does. You listen to this one. This one here... A little bit strong, but this one here doesn't sound as strong. These here, they do. Yeah. And then his accessory that he comes with is this. Now, unlike the others, he doesn't come with like a missile projectile. He comes with these flat discs that you can shoot out. So that's really neat too. So what you're going to connect this one is, you're going to put this piece here that's kind of sitting recessed inside that's going to go onto the back and this part is going to go onto the front there. So you put this one on first like this and then just put that on like that. Yeah, let's go. One, two, and then you got that sitting up right inside there. Then you take these little discs, just load them up inside the top there and then you just pull this and that shoots them out. So that's really cool. This I would get a lot of enjoyment out of. This is fun. And then the same as the others, he also comes with his little speed racer down here at the bottom. Now this one, the only thing I don't know about this one long term is these little pieces right here that are on the sides there. Maybe it's supposed to be like little pickup thrust deals. But because they're soft plastic, I don't know if over time these are going to rip off because it's really kind of flimsy. So that over time, you know, may just end up tearing off if you're not really careful with them. So you got to be careful with these when you play with these. All right, let's see. Let's put him back inside there. And well, if I can get him back inside there, come on. We'll put the nose in first. There we go. And that inside there. Close that up. And let's take a look at the black lion. Whoa, I was out of focus there. Don't know for how long, but he was. All right, black lion. 
here he is. This is the king of the lions here with regards to these guys here. Here's the the main honcho, if you will. Uh, you can open up his mouth. If you open it up too far, his head sticks out. So, because that's his or his face for his combined mode. So you got that right there. The wings do move like this, and they come out. They're articulated to come out like that, but they do not come off. So I guess in the cartoon, this came off and made a shield of sorts. Um, if I read right, but these do not come off. They stay on like that. So. Now the tail, this tail here is not a soft one, it's a hard plastic. So it's not a rubber plastic like the other one, this one's a hard plastic. They still get the same articulation like the other ones do. Now on this one, it doesn't go all the way to the front, that stops right there. So when you get this, you get the same articulation now on the feet. Now on this one, okay, so all this, everything that was soft plastic on these guys, is made into hard plastic on this one. So like this paw here is hard plastic. This one is hard plastic. This is hard plastic. Even, like I said earlier, and his little speeder sits right inside here. So you lift this up. Even this guy here. Yeah, come on. Even this one's a hard plastic. So you can tell by listening like, that's a hard plastic. It's not a soft rubbery plastic. So maybe it's because this is a larger toy and they were able to make it that way. Um, or because he's the leader, maybe he's supposed to have better stuff. I don't know. I don't know why he is that way. But so there's that. Put him back inside there. And he looks really cool too. I like the way that face is on that line. That was really cool too. I like the blue accents on that. That's neat. And then this button right here is what pushes to make the noises. So we're going to listen to a few of his, his sound effects. Oh, first let me turn it on. It takes three AAA batteries that you put it right inside here and on and off switch. So that's on. So now we can hear it. And that chest piece lights up. Let's look at that. Voltron is the only thing that can stop Sarkon. Let's assemble Voltron and get rid of these Golra. Well, we're going to assemble him. I don't know about getting rid of the Golra. Voltron! We'll, we'll do that. It's a nice lion's roar. Listen to all these. Systems compromised. Now, we will destroy you. That's a pretty bold statement there, guy. Now we go on the offensive. Let's light this thing up. Fire lasers! Voltron. We will save the universe. Let's light this thing up. All right, I think Fire it started lasers. to repeat right now. Let's now see. we go on the offensive. Yeah, they're starting to repeat. So you see that that's a lot of uh, a lot of sound effects. The speaker is built in right there, where this little pod guy is. Speeder pilot, I guess what they're really called. Yeah, come on, let me get that guy inside there. All right. So, all right, now we're gonna go ahead and combine him into his uh, Voltron form. So let's go ahead and start with this guy since I got him in my hands. Whoa. All right, let me turn him off real quick. So, I'm just going to take this, put these flat like this. All this is going to go flat just like so. And then this, you're going to lift these up right here. Let me scoot these guys out of the way so I'm not too close here. All right, we're going to scoot these guys out. Actually, you know what? Hold on, before we do that, just so you guys can see how tall or how big he is, rather. And I don't have... The only thing I have to compare him to is Transformers. And really, actually, all my Transformers are packed up. I've been packing this whole week, so I'll be moving. And so they're all packed up. But I do have this guy here, who's Optimus Prime, the MP10 Optimus Prime. Just so you guys can see. If you've seen this one, it's a bigger version of Optimus Prime. But this is kind of show how big he is next to this, the leader of uh, Voltron there. And even with these guys, because they're all about the same height. A little bit smaller, these other guys are with their stuff on. Or with their with their on, they look about the same height, but with them off, they're smaller. But this kind of shows size comparison next to I have Transformer. Like I said, that's all I had here next to me, so we're using that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get back into putting him into his his body mode. So pull that down, put these out like this, down and out. Make sure these are straight. And then up here on the top, you're gonna lift this up like this. This is gonna fold up into that, and all this is gonna tuck away right inside there just like that and then close that down 
Same thing over here. Close that up, fold that away inside there. Close that down on the head. Pull this down all the way. Push the face down. And this is gonna rotate down and kind of sit just like that. Okay, and then lift these up here, which are like the, I don't know, call them the horns or, or what you want to call them, but here we go, like that. All right, and now these have to rotate, so these gray bits are going to be on the back. So you're going to rotate them around like that, rotate this one around, just like this, and we have him ready to get the other ones onto him combined, and the tail does come up into the back like that. All right. Let's get him off to the side here for a second, and let's go ahead and work on, we'll work on the arms. So the arms themselves, you're going to take these back legs, rotate them up into it, like this, all the way up. Rotate these all the way up like this. The tail is going to go all the way inside, pushed in, and I got it on the first try. Sometimes like you don't, you can't get it in because maybe it's twisted the wrong way, so... Just if you don't get it right, make sure you twist a little bit to get it stuck inside there like that. Okay. And then here, you're going to lift this piece up just like this. And these arms are going to rotate inside like this. Put these down like that. they got to come inside like this. And you have to get them. They're going to sit right inside there. Okay. So doing so, make sure you close everything up so that way they can fit inside there like that. So take that. Fold it up. Fold it in, right inside there, and now you can close that up. And now we're pretty much going to be done with the arm. Pull this out here. And so we got one arm here, that's going to be his right arm, or rather, I'm sorry, his left arm. Let's fix those down like that. So it's got one arm there, let's get the other arm. Pull this out. Pull these down like this. Again, let's just pick these up. Put these up, like this. And they hide away real nicely too, on the back, so that's cool. Take these, pick this up. Where was that it picked up at, come on. Come on, where the heck did you come up at? There we go, right there. All right, flip these down. Flip them around. Bring these up. These are going to sit right inside there, just like that. And the other one up, just like that. And so now, you're getting him ready for his other arm mode. Make sure these are pushed in all the way. Should be. Okay, here we go. Sits in like that. All right, so now we're getting ready for his other arm mode. So the sword, you're going to take that. It's going to fit into, it's supposed to be held by this hand here. You can hold it in the other arm. If you wish, if you take that, open it up, and it's going to sit in there just like this. And that's going to hold there nice and securely. So take this arm piece out like that. So now we got these two ready. Okay. So now let's go ahead and we're going to get the feet transformed, or the legs, I should say. Let's get all these pieces off here real quick. Whoa, and I just fired that missile. It's okay. Picked it back up off the floor. All right, so let's go ahead. Well, let's start with this guy here. Take the tail, push the tail inside, just like this, so we can get that in. Uh, just like that, right. Okay, and then go ahead and take the feet, pull them up. We're going to store these back behind the legs like that. Pull them back behind the legs just like this. Then here on the front, we're going to take these. And these are going to be folded like this. And the head, you're going to lift this up. And the head's going to fold up like that. And so you want to get these situated because you want these feet to match, like I guess, like the length of the head, if you will. So that way it gives you a nice, strong base on him. Let's see here. There we go. And this are going to go, his legs, the black line legs are going to go right inside there. So there's one there. And let's see, that's his left leg. All right, let's do the same thing over here. Get this on like this. If I can get this tail in just right. This thing, some of these tails are kind of finicky to get in, so let's, let's see. Okay, that should be good like that. Rotate these up like this. Rotate this one up like that. 
get that down, get that down. Do the same thing over here with the leg. Now on this one, when you pick his head up, you also want to lift this piece up just like this. So that way that's going to be tucked away right back there just like that. Okay? And then get these legs again situated. So that way they're going to be sitting flush with the head. So when you have them on the floor, or wherever you put him, you're going to have it sit away, just sit it, sitting just right, I should say. So there's that, like that. Okay, so now we got right leg, left leg, left arm, right arm, right here. Okay, now we take him, and all we got to do is just stick him right inside there like this. Let's get that like this. That's going to go inside there, like so. And then when you want to pop this off, you just push this little button here. That's going to help to get rid of that, to loosen that up, okay? So that goes in there. We're going to get this one. That's going to go right inside here. Make sure I got all that straight. And let's see. There we go. That goes inside there. And now the arm pieces. So the arm pieces... They're just going to get pushed right in. Let me raise this up because he's a really tall guy. You can kind of see where my backdrop is falling down a little bit. But let's see here. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. Okay. So that's where his arm's going to go into. Just get that. That's going to plug right into there. Like so. And the other arm will plug into there like so. And now you got him all beefed up. Let's get these wings just because. There we go. And there he is combined up. Whoa. Into his combined Voltron form. If I can get everything sitting just right. This is your first time watching any of my reviews? Go back and see some of my other ones. You'll notice that every time I have a review, something doesn't go right. So... There he is trying to fall back on me. But there he is. Big O combined Voltron uh, Lion. And that looks neat. Now, let's see if I can't get him at a better shot there. So there he is. You can see my backdrop starting to fall down right there. But he's a huge lion. Like, that's a huge combined form. Now, for size comparison, again, the only thing I have, and I didn't pack him away because I didn't have um, his box... I couldn't put it back in there, is my Generations Metroplex. So I'm going to show him off. And that Generations Metroplex, mind you, is two feet tall. So it's going to be a lot bigger than the Voltron is, but just kind of give you an idea of how big the Voltron combiner here is. We're going to get that two foot tall Metroplex inside here, just to kind of show size comparisons with him. So there's Metroplex. Again, Mind you, this guy is, <laughs> let me scoot back. This guy here is two feet tall. Right there. So just to show you, he is a big robot. But that Voltron, he's large as well. I mean, he's a little bit more than half. He goes up to about right here on this Metroplex figure. So he is a tall figure in itself. So a really nice looking figure. Let's pull him off. And of course he wants to fall back. So let's listen to some of the sounds now. Oh, I turned it off. Pitch! Form shield! My shield can't take much more of this! We need to increase firepower! We got you, buddy! Let's light this thing up! Fire lasers! Now we go on the offensive! Time to armor up! Lance! Huck! Give me full reverse thrusters! Engaging lower thrusters. Pitch. Form shield. Roger that. Let's do it. Keep. Form sword. And I believe when you connect these guys, let me let me see here. I'm gonna take this one off. When you connect them, that right there is like a little attachment point, and so that makes some noises. So let me click that. Pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. Target 
Okay. All right, come on, guy. All right, so I'm sure you can get a lot more noises, a lot more sound out of that. Um, again, you can get some good articulation up on the arms there. And I'm just going to kind of tilt this up Let's and get him back some. Fire lasers. So the arms do move. You can get them articulated all the way around. Hold it right there. We need to increase the legs come out mode. about that much. They can go all the way back forward he does have a knee bend right there so that's neat right there the arms can bend you know side to side like this so really cool really good looking Voltron figure um, like I said I haven't seen the cartoon but just I like toys and so he's a really good looking toy is, is what I meant to say there so, but it makes me want to look at the cartoon and see if it's if it's worth it. So, let me get the stand up right. I had him standing up fine earlier, but okay. All right, so just want to make sure he was standing up right. Um, before we go, I think we can put. Not backing down. I didn't ask you to back down. I said before we go, we're not going yet. So, all right, let's get that. So we can put the stuff back on him, I found, with the exception of this piece. I couldn't find out how to get this one on there, but like this, we can go ahead and put that on there if you wanted to. You still get the same little spot right there that this can slide into. So we can get that, clip that on there, and that way you can have that on him, give him maybe more armor onto his legs there. I know it goes on there because I had it there just a, a little bit earlier. Let's see. One side... And then this thing likes to make me into a liar. A lot of the figures that I review like to make me the liars. I'm like, hey, they do this, and then all of a sudden I can't get it to get done. So, don't know why they like it. There we go. So you can get that one on there, and that'll hold in the place right there. Like I said, this one won't. Um, I think the reason why is because the way these sit, they're supposed to sit one at the bottom of this and one at the top here. But because his face is right there, that lion nose, it's not going to allow it to clip on there uh, just right. So... Unless there's a different way, I couldn't find a way to get that put onto that deal. So, this you can just plug into his arm the way it was earlier. And you got that. And then I just shot myself with that. If that had been real, I would have killed myself. Take this one out. And then this one here, obviously, you can just put this right back into his arm there. Give him more firepower as well. Like I said, I couldn't find a way to put this one on in his combined mode. And I don't think the instructions told me how to do that. I mean, let me double check here. I don't think they did, because on the box even, it doesn't show how it goes on there. Uh, I had his instructions out somewhere. Where did I put them? Let me check. I don't think it showed that that one goes on anywhere. No, it really doesn't say. It doesn't show to put any of the, the accessories on when they're in their combined form. So I just saw it and thought, oh, okay. I'd like to always have my stuff being held somewhere. But like I said, I couldn't find a way to put this one on there. So if you guys know a way to put it on there, let me know in the description. I couldn't get that to sit in there right. Like I said, without covering the lion's face. So it won't stay. But anyways, there he is. Um, if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, I encourage you to uh, comment on the videos. I like to hear what you guys think. Uh, I always try and answer back to everybody. I try and be professional about it as well. And I hope you guys do the same. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can order this guy from. You can get all five pieces from. And... Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Is this something you're going to pick up? Is this something you're not going to pick up? Uh, what do you think about it? So, in the meantime, I'm also going to go and start looking at the Voltron series on Netflix to kind of see what it's all about. So, as I always say at the end of my videos, you guys, until next time, stay safe.